Hello and welcome back to another video on FH5. Today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 cars that should be added to FH5. Now obviously you can leave your own thoughts in the comments below like which cars you want to see in FH5 but with that being said let's head right into the video. Alright so the first car that I have on the list here is a 1972 Monte Carlo SS. Uh, now obviously if you've seen any Monte Carlo before you know well the 80s were kind of slow sorry roast my own car there but they are kind of slow and uh with that being said it'd be cool to have a good engine swap in fh5 with a monte carlo uh also because the monte carlo was in fast and furious which was actually also a 72 or a 1970s monte carlo which was very cool and uh why not it's a monte carlo it's a pretty nice style looking car uh, the second thing i got on here is for my friend john of course uh, it's a 2005 Suzuki Verona, which I know 99.9% .9 of people won't know what that car is, so I'm just going to leave an image here <laughs> of what it is. It's a very slow car. I'll give you the stats for it real quick. It's 155 horsepower. Um, it's curvature weight. It's around 3250, which is kind of heavy for a car. And um, there's nothing really much else to it. I mean, it's got a decent looking interior. It'd be better looking than a Prius, I guess. So that's, that's got it going for that. And uh, yeah, not much to say about it, but it'd be kind of cool to have in game. Now the next one I think a lot of people can agree with is uh, the 2021 Shelby Snake Truck. Now if you haven't seen this thing yet on YouTube, uh, this thing looks sick. It's got about a thousand horsepower, I believe. And uh, this thing rips. It's essentially like the Mustang Snake, uh, except in a truck. And uh, here's another image here of the vehicle. Uh, it does actually look fairly good. It's got its own customizations done to it, and I, it, it's a it's a schmexy car if you ask me. Now the fourth car I have on my list is a Lincoln Limo. Uh, now obviously, if you've played FH4, and I don't know if FH3 as well, but I'm pretty sure it was only in FH4. But we had a limo, and not only did we have a limo, we had a limo that was able to drift quite well. So. By everyone's request, um, please bring back the Lincoln Limo. Uh, that would be fantastic. A lot of people wanted it back, so maybe eventually we can see that car roaming around in FH5 again. Now the fifth vehicle is a bit strange, but unlike the Peel Trident, it's quite the opposite. It's a GMC ice cream truck. It's it's it's, it's a bit of a stretch, I know, but it'd be kind of funny doing wheelie, a wheelies or donut in an ice cream truck. I mean, they've already added the Warthog from Call of Duty or whatever that was, and they already added the smallest vehicle into the game, so why not add an ice cream truck? Now, the next one I got on the list is from uh, the truck fanboys. Um, a 2015 Chevy Silverado, 1500 or 2500. Nice trucks actually look fairly decent. Yeah, I, there's no, nothing much else to say about them. They look decent. Uh, they got an okay amount of horsepower and uh, you put them in snow and they'll rip, at least in real life anyways. So it'd be pretty cool if we had some sort of vehicle like that, so we could put 1700 horsepower in it and do some crazy stuff with it. I'd love to see it in game, but uh, I I doubt it. Now the next vehicle on the list is a 2019 iPhone 50 and uh, here's why. If this truck comes into the game, I can tell my friend John how slow of a car it is. Yeah, I just called it a car. That is, that is alright, because um, it won't matter anyways. The next day it will be in a dumpster. Hell yeah, let Fords. That'll get some people triggered. I will leave it in the video. <laughs> alright, um, not, nothing much to say about the car. I mean, it's a V6 twin turbo. It's It's got some power. Uh, 0 to 60 in under 10 seconds, but no better than 5 seconds. I want to see proof. <laughs> And uh, for the next car on the list, we have a 2008 Dodge Magnum. Now, uh, this car, if you ask me personally, um, not the biggest fan of it, but uh, I believe this car was an FH4, no? I think it was. Uh, it actually didn't do that bad. I used it on drag racing because I think that had 1,500 horsepower at the time or something crazy like that. And uh, it, was, it was actually quite decent for drag tuning, so... I kind of want to see that car back in the game and um, see how fast it can go. Now the next one's kind of a 
not very common request, as well as some of the other cars I've listed out so far. And that car would be the 2022 Cadillac Escalade. Now in FH4, and I do believe FH3 as well, we did have uh, the 2016 Cadillac Escalade. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe it was the 2016. And um, it was pretty fun having that around. It was like you were driving around your IRL car. And uh, you know, I'd, it's just one of those other cars I like to kind of see back in the game and screw it, why not? Now the final car that I have on the list um, doesn't really necessarily have a year. Um, it's any of the 2000s Dodge Cummins. If you do like trucks like I do somewhat, uh, you will love 2000s Dodge Cummins. Especially, um, ones like these, or these, and maybe even that, but not this. Now the last car I have, as an honorable mention of course, is a Toyota Prius. Sorry. A, uh, a, uh, sorry. I, uh, I throw up every time I have to say that car. It's the most ugliest car I have ever seen. Well, that and the Suzuki Verona, of course. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna get some hate comments for that, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh well. Um, this Toyota Prius that I'm thinking about is the newer gen Toyota Prius. If not, a 2009 Toyota Prius. Any Toyota Prius, really, um, looks like crap, but it'd be fun to have in the game. Uh, especially if it has 1,750 horsepower. That would be just absurd. I think that would be the quickest vehicle we could have in-game, but maybe that's just me. But, um, yeah, other than that, of course, um, I think I'm going to leave the video there. If you guys did enjoy this type of video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, of course. And as always, have a rest of your day, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.